So the question arises, why is this huge tidal wave of men's clinics coming into play? What's going on? I mean, it's a great business. There's no doubt about it. And only, I don't know, 6% of men who need testosterone are being treated. It's a gigantic market. Was that common 50 years ago or 100 years ago? Well, men didn't live to be 50 or 55 as, as commonly as they do now, for one thing. And the stress levels were different for another, and toxic exposures were lower. So why is testosterone such a big deal now? And particularly, why is testosterone so commonly low? I, I have a really busy practice. I see new patients a lot, eight or 10 new patients a week that are complicated, lots of, lots of problems, lots of complexity to what's going on with them. And so many of them, way more than half, have a low testosterone below normal. It's not close, it's low. And why is that? Well, clearly the Psychiatric Association of, uh, in the United States is saying stress-related diseases, depression, anxiety, and those things are way up. And in conditions of stress, testosterone drops. Well, that's one good reason. Uh, people are more sedentary, they don't move as much. And exercise makes your testosterone go up. Sitting still makes your testosterone go down. Diet is horrible and especially obesity, 65% of people now, wow, 65% need counseling or support to deal with overweight or obesity issues in the United States. Obesity increases estrogen in men, and estrogen is the grouchy hormone for men. It makes them grouchy and it makes them sluggish, and it decreases testosterone. And finally, I don't know if you drink out of plastic water bottles, they contain a compound called phthalate. I know it's a weird one to say, but it's a plastic compound which directly inhibits the production of testosterone. So drinking water out of plastic bottles is probably not the best idea. It's better to drink water than anything else, but try to avoid the plastic bottles and then deal with stress in ways that are productive. Exercise is a good one, and we're gonna talk about meditation in a minute. Um, not the kind of meditation that you might be thinking about, but a type of meditation that actually creates huge benefits and can actually change the anatomy of your brain and make your testosterone go up. And sleep, less sugar, and recognize that you're not alone. Low testosterone is a really common phenomenon, and it's getting more and more common as things and uh, our situations in our community and environment degenerate further. So get with your doctor and get a testosterone test. Free and total testosterone and estradiol are the particular tests to get. If they're low and you need testosterone, your doctor will know what to do. We're better together.